They're going, hey guys, you're fucking kidding me. It's Trev's last video in Thailand. We've had an extra day here to try to chuff down those things and drink everything we had. Still picking up beers every day. And the missus goes, no, no more beers today. And I go, no, we're having one more. So we grabbed a couple of 9% Suntory lime drinks as well for tomorrow for the, for the fucking flight home. Put it off for a day, which you do. But this one's a beauty, the Paul Lanner. Salvatore, it's like, I looked in the shop, it's pretty bloody strong. I think it was 7.8% or something, 7.9. Trez back on the strong drinks. You're kidding me. I've been out, went to the same restaurant two nights in a row. It was a fucking good. Best Thai food I've ever had. You're kidding. Anyway. That's why you come to Bangkok, the center of the world for Thai people and Thai food and Thai women. Fucking the skirt out there today was insane. And sometimes the missus would stop and start taking photos of places and I'd walk ahead and next minute I'd be in front of a, like a massage joint and all the girls are dressed as nurses in white short skirts with big splits up the front with buttons. And they had the cheapest massage in the street, 250. And the missus goes, oh, that's cheap. I go, I'm not going in there. She goes, why not? I said, that's a naughty one. The 250, you don't get a real massage. And I straight away onto it. And that's uh, the big payout, the big extra for the job. You're kidding. Cheers. Paul Lanner. This is looking good. Nearly 8%. You're fucking kidding me. Mm. Now we're talking beers, Mike. I know you said one of those German beers, the oldest brewery in the world, they make a nice beer, and I do agree, it's a nice beer, it's about 5% or so. A Doppelbock, it is lovely, like, I'm not complaining, but this is hands and heels above it in my book. Similar flavour, but a lot stronger everything. Big malt, big goodies, all the goodies in there. You're kidding, how's the skirt today? I'll see more beautiful women today, and this will blow your mind, than I see in Melbourne in six months. We went to a department store, it's Saturday. Every chick and their fake tits were there. I'm not joking, it was like that. There was more mini skirts and pumped out chests. You kidding? To put it nicely, but there were some hotties. I'll tell you, mate. Some drop dead gorgeous women, like melt in your heart, like melt in your pants, sort of thing. It was just bullshit. You're kidding me. Thailand's full of the beauties. We used to love Bangkok for the beautiful women. And it wins hand down, hands down, for the rest of the country. Probably helps that there's about 15 million people living here and you know, more than half are women. And quite a lot between the age of probably 18 and 38 or so, I'd say. Keep it nice and absolutely smoke it. Yeah, and we're in a pretty tidy street today for dinner in Soy 33. It's a bit more upmarket. There's no uneven pavement. There's no shitty bits of road. It's like pretty well maintained. A lot of Japanese restaurants and high class places, establishments, Italian few different ones, really nice settings, you know, like million dollar settings, yeah, beautiful, sort of 33. So get your ass down there and check out the uh, talent, it's unbelievable. And you get beers like this in the supermarket, 
pretty close to sort of 33 on Sukhumvit. Just back towards soy um, 22, I guess, or we're starting on soy 20 now. But, yeah, you take what you can get for a last minute flight change to get through that big block of fucking compressed whatever's, you're kidding. And we're going through a bit of money, but we're doing some good restaurants, good food, good beers. And we probably won't come to Bangkok again for, well, it's been a few years now, probably six years, so hopefully it's not that long again. Even the missus likes it, she's starting to really warm up to bangers. So that's breakfast tomorrow, we've got the um, Vietnamese dragon fruit. We're told today they actually grow it now in Thailand in a few spots, so they've managed to do that, which is good. What a beautiful dragon fruit. Like, I've had dragon fruit in Australia, it's got no flavour. White one. This one's a red one. Alright guys, I'll just leave you with that. It's been a great little break over here in Thailand. Been good to um, relax, get my teeth fixed, that was good. Getting a little bit used to talking with them, you know, it's different, you know, you put new teeth in your head and there's no gap here and there's a, you know, something here and there's that there and you know, I have one tooth out at the back and uh, had a root canal and they sort of play a bit of havoc, a bit of pain, so you're sort of dodging that tooth for eating and you're doing different things, so it is what it wasn't I'm going home tomorrow I'm fucking spewing this is my home really second home loving this beer get on to that one guys you're kidding Salvatore Salvatore you're kidding cheers